Hello there, welcome to Anthronology. My name is Sean, and for thousands of years, we as a species have been honing our skills as environment manipulators, whether as a means of subsistence, spirituality, or shelter. Humans have an uncanny ability to gather and utilize resources in order to build permanent structures, some of which seem near impossible to the modern eye. Our ancient relatives constantly dazzle us with their ingenuity. However, it took a rather large amount of time to develop one of the most basic forms of a structure, the building. A building is primarily defined by its intended uses. In order to be considered a building, it must be intended for shelter and or occupancy, whether temporary or permanent. The building must also be freestanding, still standing at the present, and of a certain height from the time of construction, at least 1.5 meters. Certain structures that may be mistaken for buildings are cairns and dolmens. Cairns are impressively large piles of loose stones, and dolmens typically consist of two large vertical stones that are capped by a similarly large horizontal stone. With this information, let's visit and admire the oldest buildings on each continent. Lying in the center of the Mexican highlands is the ancient city of Cuicuilco, which contains at its center the oldest building on the North American continent. The Central Pyramid Temple dates to around 800 BCE. This is the oldest example so far of large-scale construction that exists from Mesoamerican cultures. The building likely served as a civic center and place for religious ceremonies. It also represents one of the earliest attempts in Mesoamerica to link the cosmos with religion through strategic construction. On the western coast of Peru is the city of Casma, where some of the oldest structures in the world are still standing. In 2008, the site was excavated and found to be composed of many sunken circular plazas, some of which were covered to form impressive buildings. The archaeologists think that their purpose was ceremonial, based primarily on the beautifully carved murals lining the walls. Session Bajo, one of these circular plazas, was carbon dated to 3500 BCE, making it the oldest building in the Americas, predating the famous Caral pyramids by almost 1000 years. The first buildings ever erected by explorers in Antarctica are still standing, dating back to 1899. Cape Adare was first discovered by James Ross in 1841. Norwegian Karsten Borskrevink was a member of the first party to spend the entire winter on Antarctica and is responsible for the construction of the huts that still exist today. A grave site nearby belongs to the zoologist on the expedition who could not survive the winter. Both sites have been designated historic monuments. Australian Aboriginals did not build large structures, or any surviving buildings for that matter. For this reason, the oldest surviving structure in Australia is the Elizabeth Farmhouse in Sydney. The aesthetically pleasing home was commissioned to be built in 1793 by John and Elizabeth MacArthur. New South Wales was a prison colony at the time of their arrival. They grew wealthy and influential through a lucrative wool trade. The family experienced their share of troubles and remained in the house until Elizabeth's death in 1850. The house is now a living museum open to the public. It may or may not come as a surprise that the oldest building in Africa is a pyramid. Located in Saqqara, close to Memphis, the Pyramid of Djoser is a limestone step pyramid and is the very first built by Egyptians. It was constructed around 2700 BCE. The building serves as the tomb of Pharaoh Djoser, who ruled in the third dynasty of the Old Kingdom. The construction would have been a marvel, with its six layers or steps rising to a height of 62 meters or 203 feet. At the present time, the Pyramid of Djoser is considered to be the first large-scale construction in the world using deliberately cut stone. Moving to the western border of Iran, we visit an ancient settlement that holds some surprising finds. Shahre Sukta, also known as the Burnt City, appeared sometime around 3200 BCE and presents some of the most interesting finds from early civilization. Among these are the first artificial eyeball, a goblet that depicts the first animation strip, the first dice, and other gambling objects. There is also evidence for women holding positions of high status. 
the settlement was inhabited for over 1,000 years until it was abandoned. A graveyard to the west of the site holds up to 40,000 burials. The collection of households and other structures could be considered the oldest in Asia. Europe is home to most of the oldest buildings and dwellings in the world, being absolutely littered with ancient remains. Some may point to the Neolithic dwellings in Bulgaria as the oldest in Europe, dating to a staggering 6,000 BCE. However, they are no longer freestanding. The oldest building in Europe that satisfies our criteria is the Tumulus of Barnanez in France. This monstrosity, sometimes called the prehistoric Parthenon, dates back to 4,800 BCE. It's comprised of multiple burial chambers and passageways, as well as numerous pieces of Neolithic art. The carvings depict axes, bows, crosses, waves, and also anthropomorphic beings dubbed the Dolmen Goddess. Different styles of construction can be found representing the two phases of building that took place at Barnanez. Privately owned for a short time, the massive tomb was quarried for paving stones until the gravity of this mistake was uncovered. They had no idea that they were destroying what is probably the oldest building still standing on Earth. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and check out the description if you want some bonus facts. And also, if you like the video, please subscribe and share it because we're really trying to reach more people here and any help would be appreciated. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.